How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today we have another episode of the best pro player spots in Modern Warfare 3. Today we have a few different little jump spots, head glitches, anything like that really. We've also got a little S&D setup as well, similar to last episode, which we're going to start things off with right away. So without further ado, hope you enjoy the video and let's get right into it. So similar to last video, we're going to start off with a team setup for S&D. Now this one was from Toronto Ultra. So basically what we saw is off of this spawn here, we saw Kleenex run up to mid door down here, just watching the door waiting for some information. And then meanwhile, the rest of his team straight off of spawn, the other three players, they rushed around the alley and then they triple child this alleyway here like this. And then basically they just wait for information. Now I believe one of the other team opened the door and then they start spraying through the door trying to make them weak. And then whilst that was going on, whilst they start shooting, Kleenex is waiting here and he's going to burst through the door and help get the kills. And I believe he got two kills and then died and then the rest of the team were able to wipe out the team. So that's a really good play because obviously you're going to be able to take them out if they're coming through there. And if nobody comes and you've got good information and you know that they've wrapped around through the tunnel. But obviously you are leaving that side exposed if you do use it. But it's just a one good strategy if the enemy team are playing bottom garage. May as well talk about the spot which I saw Shotzi using in a wager 1v1. Now this may come in useful. Basically what he did was just go straight on this bin. And you're going to be able to jump. And you can see if anybody's crossing over to the roof. Because that's quite a common push up spot. So it's a good place to get some information. You're not really going to get any kills, but it is just worth noting that you can actually use this to peek the jump up by the boxes over by the window. Spot off of Kenny. Now basically, here we are in these back containers. If you hop on this bin, you're going to have a very nice little head glitch to check onto P2 in that back warehouse building, as well as just watch anybody down low. So it can be very handy for P2 hardpoint if you're looking to get people off there. Just make sure you've got a good aim. If you're in pubs, you're going to be able to mount up and rip people off it. But it just can be a good little spot. And if you hop up, you can check anybody crossing over there as well from the alleyway. I've seen multiple players using this. And honestly, I can't really remember exactly which pro I got it from. But you can see people hopping up on these little barrels and they're going to be able to use this little head glitch down to the back steps and also watch the stairs push up there. This can be really handy for P1 on hard point because if you have somebody set up back here and somebody on time, you don't really need to worry about behind you. So you can just watch this and also can be good for A bomb as well on search and destroy to watch those steps. High rise and we're going to take a look at a little head glitch that Abizi used. So basically he rushed straight off a of spawn, straight underground and he actually hopped onto this red barrel to get a nice little head glitch into B there. Now you can use this to get a pick, you can also check the street there as well and if you drop up you can actually check the A bomb site which is quite nice but pretty much he's going to wait for a pick and then he's going to move in, obviously he'd be using an SMG and then he can clear out B from there. Now we've got a spot from Draza. Now personally I use this spot a lot. So if you come to the helicopter, you can jump on this, but even better, stand on the red barrels and you're going to be able to get a nice line of sight straight into their spawn building. Obviously the red barrels will get blown up as the game goes on, but in S&D they're going to reset every round. You can use this to get some info and a couple kills. And it's just worth noting you can also jump on this side like that. You can't walk too far, but you can see straight into the mid windows as well as down that side of the map there. And it's just a good one. But just know if you're on this and you turn around, you're going to slide off. Up next, we have a nice spot from Arstes. Now, this spot, you're not really going to get a kill from unless you get lucky with the sniper. But pretty much what he was doing was jumping here by these boarded up windows. And you're going to use this to get some information if anybody's on the helipad. And you can also sort of sprint jump to go a little bit higher. You can even check the spot down low there if anybody's coming around the ledge. Or you can check bottom heli as well. You could kind of use this to check the A-bomb as well if you plant it. You know, you could just keep spamming this. But it's just good to get some information. So if you do see someone, you can sort of slide out and get them like that. And you're going to be nicely in cover and unseen behind this. Now, everybody knows this spot, but I thought it was worth mentioning. We actually saw Capsidol getting up onto the enemy roof on control. Pretty much, they were spawning the other side, his team, and the enemies were spawning inside of this one. And now he actually managed to make his way all the way up here and then basically take control of the map. If you can manage to get up here, then you're pretty much sorted. If you chuck a trophy down as well, you're going to be even more sorted. 
So yeah, just make note that you can actually do this if you have the time. There are multiple ways up here as well, which I've spoken about in my jump spots videos. But yeah, it's just a funny spot to get into as well. Well then, just a tiny little spot. We actually see Arstis using this one again. He's just going to watch off a spawn of his AR to check which side the team crosses. Now you're going to be able to see if anybody runs the right. And if you don't see anybody, then they've likely pushed down the left. So it's just a quick spot just to call out some info. And you can also do the same from the opposite side. Now we're on to Terminal. Now just a quick spot off of Dashi. Basically you'll run straight up to the plant pot. And you're going to be able to check straight across mid there. And you're just going to see if anybody runs up through the orange steps or anybody peeking from back there. I've used a sniper just to show you, but you can use this in your pub matches as well as ranked when it comes out. But it can be a nice one to get a quick snipe off spawn or just check if anybody's pushed into the plane and let your team know. Karachi. Now I just want to make a note that you can actually go in all these balconies, which we've seen Slasher doing. Now you can use this to check through mid there or around back of that spawn. You can also walk around the edge to get inside of this. This can be handy to keep an eye even further into mid, as well as the B bomb site. Maybe you could lie down. And then, whilst we're also here, we may as well talk about these. So you can sit in this one a bit further back. Can be handy for watching the roof as well as your flank there. And then, if you walk around this ledge once more, you're going to be able to get into this back one. Now, this can be really good for just sitting here and watching anybody on the flank just for S and D as well, as well as hard point, you know, it could be good to catch anybody coming around the side. This spot isn't really anything too mental, but we saw Fame actually using this on S and D. Now he's just lying here waiting whilst the rest of his team at the other side of the map towards the B bomb. Now what he was doing is just waiting for some information, maybe hearing for a door opening or to catch a player sort of slacking. And then he waits sort of, well he waits here before the team. And then once Fame makes a play, he gets a kill or something, and then they can figure out where the enemy team are playing, then the rest of the team will flank over and help him take the rest of them out. So guys, that's all we're going to have time for today. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. It really helps that channel. Also, as always, let me know any spots that you want me to feature in the series because obviously it's hard to keep track of all of them because anytime you watch a game, you're going to be finding a few different spots. So please let me know as it really helps out. Also, let me know any other content you want to see as always. But without further ado, guys, I'll let you get on with your day. I hope you have a good one and I'll see you all in the next video.